Hello and welcome to a new and very important video. Today I will be talking about the new baby score and my experience with it. Firstly, I would like to say that these changes are massive and Dota needed this for a long time. But it is not a perfect system by any means and it needs urgent based fixes and changes. Before I talk about issues, let's talk about how it works. So, the behavior score has a limit of, I think, 12,000, more than 10,000. And you need minimum of 10,000 to be a coach or request someone to coach you. Once your behavior score falls down to 7,000, the post game drops of treasure and sets don't happen anymore. At 5,000, up until 5,000, you have the ability to pause the game if it falls below. If you're like 4,999, you cannot pause the game. And there's a funny bug that happened that, uh, well, it's not a bug. It was intended, but nobody thought enough of it. Um, that if you cannot pause, it means you cannot unpause as well. So anyone who had less than 5,000 baby score could not unpause. So you know, that was a funny thing that someone who has 5,000 or more behavior score and if everyone else has lower than 5,000, the guy who has 5,000 can pause the game and hold everyone hostage. And just, you cannot do anything. You just have to abandon or, or just wait until that guy unpauses. <laughs> People were at the mercy of that guy. That was hilarious. Anyways, at 3,000, you uh, below 3000 you lose the ability to play ranked games okay we understand that right that's how behavior score works and the communication score cannot get higher than behavior score so if your in-game behavior is uh causing trouble your communication score cannot be higher than that it would be always lower than your behavior score so what is the communication score if you have played dota you know that Dota really needs some sort of communication. Even if, you, if you're one of those rare people who just mute everyone and play the game and suggest to others to complain about toxicity in the game that just mute everyone, right? Um, you still communicate by various things like pinging on the map or drawing arrows on the map or pinging on the abilities like black hole is ready so you ping your black hole and stuff like that. But everything, and if you make a good play, you tip, you get tip. For example, most of my uh, shard bank got collected by getting tipped when I sudden strike or hook. I love playing Pudge and Invoker, so that was very cool. And now it's been, it's been a while that I got tipped, even though I did do some good sudden strikes, and I missed that. Um, and that's what this is for because you cannot tip anymore if your behavior score falls down. Let's talk about communication score, by the way, now. So, for coaching or get coached, you need 10,000 behavior score and ping ally abilities. Like, uh, their BKB abilities or items, I guess. Like their BKB or other, other stuff, other spells. Like their black hole or something like that. Signaling them that they should use it. Or if you died and they didn't use it, you can ping it and let them know that they didn't use it. If you don't want to communicate and, and if you have them muted or whatever. Like it's an important feature to be able to communicate uh, to ping and ally their ability. It is still a thing for some, but uh, it's still still important. There, there can be a cooldown to it, but I think it should never be removed. At 8000, you lose the ability to use voice chat. So if your paper score falls down below 8,000, you cannot voice chat anymore. If it falls down below 7,000, you cannot do the in-game tipping anymore. If it falls down below 6,000, you cannot text chat anymore. And if it, fells, uh, if it fell below 3,000, it's really bad. All pings, alerts, chat fails, everything is on shared cooldown. You cannot even ping your own abilities like BKB or anything. 
I keep giving an example of black hole. So even black hole, you cannot ping that it, it's ready. Or if you're in position, so you're pinging your black hole that I'm ready. Because those are the reasons, usually, how I use it. Rarely I use it to flame or be toxic, I guess. Alright, but let's talk about it. So, let's talk about the issues. Once a behavior score falls low enough, there is no escape. You cannot get out. Everyone has unlimited reports. There is no longer a limit to how many times you could use the report feature. Most people just abuse the reports and would report anyone for any minor mistake, disagreement in build or gameplay or anything else. And once enough people do that, over the course of 15 games, your behavior score tanks down a lot. And then you get matched with even lower behavior score people who do that more often. What I thought this system was, and I was very excited about, that it would create an incentive for people to monitor their behavior and control their emotions. If your behavior score had around 3k, if you previously had 3k behavior score, you could, with improved behavior, not abandoning in my case, climb back up. Now, 3k behavior score and a single digit number has no difference because most of the player's abilities needed to play the game and have the full experience are stripped away. And even at that barren state that you queue up a game to improve, you cannot hope to climb back up. It is much, much worse than winning just a single draft game. Because let's be real, that didn't really fix the issues. This system, I felt, is going to change everything. It was thought of from ground up to make major changes to the atmosphere of the games. And that's how I felt. So let's talk about my experience a little bit. I started off at 3k behavior score something when the patch was released. I reached this low behavior score tier a while ago since the summer started uh, due to unfortunate power issues, uh, thunderstorms, and sometimes even uh, internet instability. So let's talk about cur cur current situation, right? I started off with 3k something when the patch released. Then after reading the new system, I was excited and curious how it would affect the games that I would play. In ranked, it was interesting as nobody could type. So people were just drawing on the map to communicate and trash talk. It was so funny, I'm not gonna lie. I was having a blast. Because it was funny how everyone was drawing and everyone had different handwriting and they were using their mouse to draw uh, after dying or... Uh, it was just ridiculous. But then after the few loss, uh, after a few games that I, that I lose and then I lose more rank as well, behavior score fell down to below 3k. And then ability to play rank was removed. So I could only play unranked, all pick or turbo. Or I couldn't, or I could choose to not play Dota at all. So as the name implies, is Dota dumb. I wanted to play Dota and that's all I do. And I share my experience here. So I wanted to play Dota. Uh, I like Dota, right? It's a, it's a toxic relationship. I really like Dota and it's been years. So anyways, I made up my mind to grind turbo, right? Because either I could play unranked all pay or turbo. Turbo seemed to be the logical answer to raise behavior score, I thought, because a behavior score or conduct summary is generated every 15 games. So playing turbo games are just quicker. Even though I do not play unranked all pick or turbo at all, I only play ranked. Um, there's so many times I was invited by my Steam friends and they wanted me to play unranked or lobbies or turbo, but I don't do that. So I just played solo most of the time. Solo ranked and on the weekends, uh, party ranked through uh, the Discord buddies. So, anyways, I made up my mind to play 15 games of turbo 
so I could raise my behavior score and do my best to and and do my best to be at my best behavior possible most of the times aka not going full ape mode in games uh just calm down and just tone down the trash talking and stuff like that and also the play style as well and you know it just is it everything just not go full ape mode in most of my games but to my surprise after playing a bunch of turbo games many of them i won as well the conduct summary generated and i see that my behavior score was updated to 1957 almost 2k i was kind of shocked and almost thought that it was a bug because i did not do any of those things i did not go ape mode except for one or two game but the amount of reports that i collected doesn't make any sense that's how i felt because the behavior score tanked down a lot more than a thousand behavior score tanked down and yeah I was kind of shocked, I almost thought it was a bug, since I did not destroy items, I did not unintentionally abandon the game since a new update, and did not flame, because I literally couldn't. I am used to rank rolls, but clearly I was not allowed to play ranked or rank rolls since behavior score was under 3k, so the turbo games were wild wild west and it was to be expected. See a server, sub 3k behavior score, any mode is the jungle. So... It was crazy. There were a lot of games where there were two people mid and I was not one of the two people at mid. I was just trying to save the game. Some people just walked down mid, some people followed each other and it was a, it was a mess. Many games were a mess. But I personally did not make any enemies out of anyone in most of the games. So I do not understand what happened. I guess if somebody's lane got griefed, he just ended up reporting the whole team. Because a few because I could tell that some people were frustrated with the whole team and they could not express that through excessive pinging anymore they couldn't write it dog team or you know enemy uh, animal team they couldn't say that thing at all and again it it rings true to the statement made by whoever wrote it uh, on the on the uh, patch page that um, we don't want more enemies than we already are facing by behaving badly to each other in the game and every game. So it, it it was effective in that moment. But again, my behavior score, we're talking about how it works in the grand scheme of things, right? So not a single game I grieve. Or communication abuse or abandon but my behavior score tanked down why just because of reports as i saw my stats through steam profile i got 24 reports and 15 turbo games that i played so i assume even enemies who were losing just free handedly surely passed out reports to everyone and i also caught in in the in the crossfire just because they were better for losing, perhaps? I, I don't know. I I don't know, man. And even if that wasn't the case, each report counting towards behavior score is not right. Or the extent it does as of now, maybe it should deduct less behavior score points per report, much less. And it isn't really about me. It's about how the whole system works for everyone. Because if you're talking about me, even though most of my rights as a Dota player were taken away because of low behavior score due to unintentional abandons, some mild banter here and there or whatever the reason be, even if you say that it was well deserved, I was still happy with the system. I was not bitter because as I said earlier, I imagine it's working really well as a system. And eventually, once I raise my behavior score up, I will also experience the good things that this new system has to offer but i guess it worked too well or it had too much power and it, it it went out of control it came back full circle from being useless for many years to working well so much to working so good that it became counterproductive so i then played a few unranked games and then mostly turbo again the next summary updates and what's the score 
1257. Someone told me that I should stick to all pick as people report way too often in turbo, but why? I'm not a turbo player, I, I'm not aware. I didn't listen to the suggestion because to me it made no sense why would people report me more often in turbo than in ranked or in unranked, sorry. I always considered turbo and all pick unranked to be chill places to play. I guess I was not right about it. I did not play those modes enough recently before this new behavior system. Anyways, once I was done with another session of turbo games, I reached 50 something behavior score. Two digit behavior score. I was kind of upset, not gonna lie. But I thought, no way, another session of only turbo games and a game or two of unranked in between would lead to further deduction of behavior score. Because I was playing as passive as possible. Like, even if I had the ability to communicate, I wouldn't. I don't want to make any enemies. I just wanted to play. And that's the point. They are shoving that point across. They're showcasing it very well through their system. And I like that. But again, it's not working as intended. And alas, I reached one behavior score after another session. A single digit. Just one. And I don't know how to take it or what to do about it other than spend some time sharing my thoughts here. I gladly aim to raise behavior score in the ways that were in my control. But it feels like that that chance has been taken away by the fact that how everyone has infinite reports. Everyone likes to blame other for the loss. Humans are humans and they get upset and report. They get annoyed, they report. They're losing, they report. Enemy lose, they get upset, they report the, their opponent team other than their own team. You miss few too many losses, your support reports you and leaves the lane. If you're playing support, your carry thinks you're just uh, not good enough and then they leave the lane. Anything can happen. So anyways, that's Dota for you, but my suggestions are remove infinite reports. There should be a limit granted weekly as it did before or bi-weekly basis or even daily. No more than five or some other number, not too many. So anyone who is using reports know that they have limited amount of reports. They are super effective now, right? So they will use it wisely because whoever they report against surely will be taken care of. And so the, so the reports hold some actual meaning and does not work against the system by just being super abusable and spammable and inflated. Okay? That was my number one suggestion. Number two, comments should mean more. Currently, comments do not raise behavior score. Perhaps consider comments to be a valuable feedback and let it help raise your behavior score. As I shared in the clip uh, that I shared on Reddit, uh, how everyone asked for comment for command and they had it as their username. Little did they know. Um, little did they know comments mean nothing when it comes to behavior score or the conduct summary. If they actually start to mean something like those who play nice, do not grieve, do not abandon, do not give up, or just a nice ally to play with. Once they get command, when deserving by their ally or enemy, add some digits to their behavior score, whatever the points of positive behavior score points are. So the reports and comments would balance things out. Maybe some games you reported, you were being bad, played terrible or whatever, but some games you played good, behaved good, both should affect the behavior score. Currently, only reports has an effect on the behavior score. These are just some suggestions that I thought of right now. I'm sure many people would have great suggestions and the devs who work on it are also very smart individuals and would surely come up with better way to deal with what's happening right now or they could use my suggestion. But please do it soon. This can cause way too much damage to overall matchmaking and legit tank down the player base further. Because 
I know that the big map change, a lot of players stopped playing Dota after the map change. They just couldn't wrap their head around it. Dota map could look any different after a decade in Dota 2 and many years in Dota 1. So, you know, there that hit pretty hard. And then the introduction of Universal Heroes as well. That was pretty controversial. And for me personally, it was the Invoker's change. First, they had him nerfed a lot and then they made him way too overpowered on the ghost walk and they then they nerfed the ghost walk and the vex's ability to pull down reduction and i wanted to make a video on it too but you know he is strong especially in high ranks but in low ranks or in most of the player bases rank it is okay it you can deal with an invoker it's not out of control it's not nature's profit god forbid anyways so <sighs> Please do it soon. It can, it can cause a lot of problems for a lot of players. I want to play Dota. And I'll be better in some ways that I can. That doesn't mean that I will stop having fun. But having fun doesn't have to mean that I'm You're just up. being Make toxic all the time. Which I don't, but I do sometimes. Who doesn't? It's Dota, Five after seconds. all. But again, that expectation is uh needs to change a little bit that dota shouldn't mean toxicity and and i'm all for that change or dota to mean something other than just toxicity but that's most online games but again that is not an excuse because i would love to have more positive teammates 10 seconds anyways i think everyone should have Perfect. a chance to climb back up again if they improve themselves Thank you. And before I end this, I would say again that this system reminds you to control yourself. If you do not, you suffer consequences. And I love that because sometimes we can get unhinged and this system makes us remember what is at stake at all times. It's a great way to, well, not as many griefers. There were, but not as many, not every game. And it is a great way to deal with this and the quality of games would significantly improve and it already has. As I said, in my super low behavior score experience as well, not as many griefers. There were, but not as many, not, not every game. Many had the hope that they would behave better and get comments to improve behavior score. If they get better, or try to be better, they should be rewarded with behavior score points that can always keep the hope alive for them to get better and get the features that are core to Dota back or not lose them. Maybe you have to lose them first to realize what they mean to you in life and well, in Dota as well. So losing all these features, I just, I would value the communication part of the, of my Dota experience more. That is for sure. At least I will try to. The tips, the pings, the chat, the voice. The drawing on the map. And not just male reproductive organ. Everything else as well. This is not a case for smurfers or cheaters. Because cheaters, 40k cheaters banned and then 90k smurfers banned. And I'm sure in that 90k, there are a lot of people as they shared their experience were siblings who were using uh, the same computer or same internet, nothing. definitely. And I've been proving them wrong ever since. The system needs to be more smarter, that is for sure. All right, get ready. And yeah. But this is more about behavior score and my experience with it. So, yeah, this is not a case for smurf or cheaters. This is a case for players who can try to get better. And them getting better is better than them stop playing altogether. Thank you for watching. 
you enjoyed consider leaving a like and subscribe i'm gonna enjoy my game and try to not get reported again my eye never misses. all right everybody can we get seconds. double kill first blood. there we go i think i may at least one is good enough all right guys peace